Hello, it's Monday, uh, April the 19th. Hard to believe we're halfway through and more uh, of the month of April and uh, summer is not too far away. Uh, we're looking at the prophecy of Isaiah and uh, so far we've covered the first uh, six chapters and uh, today and actually all of this week we will be in chapters seven and eight. And uh, chapter seven, uh, chapter seven, eight, and nine are addressed to um, Judah uh, in the south, with Jerusalem as its uh, capital. And chapters nine, ten, and eleven are addressed to Israel, uh, the breakaway kingdom in the north, with its capital in uh, Samaria. And uh, in this particular section, uh, the beginning of chapter 7, uh, it falls basically into two parts. And there's a, a moment of decision uh, that Judah has to make. And because it refuses uh, that, to make the right decision, uh, there is an impending judgment uh, that is coming. So we are now very specific as far as history is concerned. We are in the year 734 uh, BC, and uh, we are in uh, Jerusalem uh, with its king, King Ahaz, and uh, he is meeting with his foreign policy gurus uh, because uh, Judah is about to cave in. It's surrounded by uh, trouble. Syria to the north has um, engaged in military action and damaged uh, a, a, a seaport. Syria is to the south uh, and damaged a seaport on the Gulf. There would be economic and especially trading consequences. Uh, it, it was the thoroughfare uh, eventually to the Mediterranean and, and, and to the Gulf side of things, from the Mediterranean to the Gulf side of things, and uh, th that was a huge blow. Uh, Edom in the southeast is threatening. Uh, the Philistines to the west are threatening. And um, Syria uh, now unites with Israel to the north and uh, threatening to remove Ahaz from his throne and put on a puppet uh, king. And Ahaz uh, uh, won't play the game. Uh, and uh, Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the king of uh, Israel, uh, are in cahoots together trying to remove Ahaz from the throne. And Ahaz hits the panic button. And what he does is um, uh, connive to uh, Assyria, uh, the grand Puba of them all, uh, to ward off his local uh, enemies. And uh, that, of course, will be a decision uh, that will cost him to within an inch of his life, as we shall see um, later. It was uh, a king trusting in might and power rather than in God and his promises. Ahaz was a Davidic king. God had made a very solemn promise in 2 Samuel 7 that a Davidic king would sit on the throne forever. And this panic button uh, was Ahaz saying, uh, that promise may be true, but I need help, and I need help right now. And it was a lack of faith. Well, uh, will Ahaz listen? Uh, we shall see tomorrow as we continue in the seventh chapter of Isaiah. Uh, but there it is for today. Have a wonderful day.